Welcome back YouTube. This is Dave Lucas with Injection Molding Skills and More. Today actually we're going to go over how to clean a mold. Um, there's five different variations of how to clean it. Uh, the most common is the chemical. Everybody uses a chemical to clean a mold. Um, the steps that you go through to clean a mold. <clears throat> and then I'm going to show you guys the different videos of each one of how they actually, how you do it, okay? So, there's different types of cleaners that you can use. Most people use slide, or they'll use this cleaner to clean them with. So these are the two that are most popular. And then afterwards, you have like a rust preventative that you're supposed to be using to keep the, the tools from getting damaged and stuff. So, the first one would be a chemical cleaner, then an ultrasonic and merge. So you take it and you dip it in a bath, and the bubbles and stuff eat the corrosion off of it. Uh, dry ice blasting, so like a cold jet blaster. Um, soft plastic media or sand blasting. Sand blasting is like real fine grit. And then laser cleaning. Um, the majority of the time what you want to do is <clears throat> you have your cavity side and you got your core side. Whatever side has the ejectors on it that ejects the part off. You want to spray a light coat on that side after you clean the mold real good. You want to clean all the vents. You want to clean everything. Sometimes you got to use Scotch Brite and get in there and clean them. But what you want to do is you want to only spray after you clean the mold real good. You only want to spray a light coat on the pin side so you don't get bleed out onto your part. And then on the other side, which is your textured side, or let's say you're running a mirrored part, you want to spray that side a little heavier so it don't rust on you or anything. <clears throat> Whenever you go to clean a mirror finish part. You want to use alcohol and cotton swabs in there to clean it. You don't want to use that stuff. The majority of people don't want to use that because it leaves a film on there. So the first step you'd want to do is soak it down a little bit. Do not soak the side with the ejector pins because you don't want to have bleed out on your parts. If you're running a class A surface part, you do not want it on your textured side. If you're running automotive parts, you don't want it on your mirror side or your grain side because... You're going to have issues on that side where the bleed out is coming off of your pins. So the side that has the grain, like you have a texture, you can spray and soak that side real good and then blow it off, air dry it, or take a rag on the side that has the ejector pin. I don't know why, but my video just quit working, but you could actually wipe it down. Um, but always what I do is run your ejector pins out if you have to and clean them off a little bit. Um, whenever they do the PM on it, sometimes when they send your tool back to you after they've done a PM, you'll get bleed out because of the excessive grease on the ejector pins. So stay tuned. On this video, I'm going to go through each one's got a video to show you exactly how they actually do it so you can see for yourself. Cleaning the molds like taking your car to go get the oil changed all the time. If you take your oil and get it changed every 3,000 miles, what happens? Your car runs for a long, long, long time. Same thing with a mold. If you don't clean a mold on a regular basis, eventually down the road, you're damaged a $150,000 tool or $200,000 tool. So you got to take care of your tools. So hope, stay tuned in this video and watch the rest the way through. You can apply cleaner directly on the mold while in production. Slide has mold cleaners that require no wiping leave no residue, and quickly evaporate. Thoroughly flood the mold to clean in deep crevices and allow to dry. Other cleaners, such as slide resin remover, which is used to remove stubborn resin or gas deposits, can also be applied while the mold is in production. The unwanted gas or resin deposits are attacked by the resin remover and then molded off during the next few production cycles. In the tool room, apply the cleaner in sweeping motions thoroughly flooding the mold. Many slide mold cleaners have a fast evaporating formulation so you can quickly apply a rust preventive after cleaning the mold. Slide also makes a disposable non-abrasive wipe for cleaning molds. Simply take a wipe and rub across the surface of the mold. To thoroughly clean molds and leave a polished luster, you can use mold and metal polish. So this guy here is doing dry ice. So this is how they do the dry ice to clean the mold with dry ice. So most companies use what they call uh, jet dryer or cool jet or whatever they call it. That's what they use to clean them with. So they go into the cavities 
and the core side and do that. That way it does not damage the tool. So you can see he's got the gun pointed in there. So again, this is uh, dry ice blasting. Now you could do sandblasting too. If you wanted to do sandblasting with a real fine grit, you could do it to where you don't damage your texture and stuff. So I wanted you guys to see that application too, to see how it actually works. And it cleans everything out of there. Okay, the next slide. So this would be your laser cleaning, how they do laser cleaning. So watch how they do it. So it gets down into the crevices. Basically burns it out of there. So if you got stuff that's like, you know, corroded down in there and you can't get it out with dry ice or anything, this is how you're going to get it out. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the, how they do that, okay? So this guy here is doing dry ice. So this is how they do the dry ice to clean the mold with dry ice. So most companies use what they call uh, jet dryer or cool jet or whatever they call it. That's what they use to clean them with. So they go into the cavities and the core side and do that. That way it does not damage the tool. So you can see he's got the gun pointed in there. So again, this is uh, dry ice blasting. Now you could do sandblasting too. If you wanted to do sandblasting with a real fine grit, you could do it to where you don't damage your texture and stuff. So I wanted you guys to see that application too, to see how it actually works. And it cleans everything out of there. Okay, the next slide. Okay, so the next one's ultrasonic bath. So they painted the inserts on the ends there red so you can see how it actually works. And what happens is, is when you have inserts or anything that are real small parts that you want to put into a mold and you can't get them really clean, using an ultrasonic bath and putting it in those actually works a lot better. So you can just set it in there for a few seconds or a few minutes what it'll do is it'll eat off anything that's in there that's not metal. So if you have anything that's corroded or anything like that at all, I'm sorry I'm moving around a little bit, I'm sorry guys. Um, but you can see it eating it off there. But usually a lot of people use that for like in inserts. So if you do like insert molding or anything like that, you'd want to use an ultrasonic bath for the smaller little parts. You put them in a basket dip them into this tank and then after you dip them into this tank then you get them out I'll show you how it lifts them up out of the tank and you look at the parts they're nice and clean look like they're brand new that's it rinse them off good to go I wanted to show you this this is called media blast so plastic media blast Loading system reduces the chance of operator injury. 
So look, they're taking a screw right there and they're trying to clean all the plastic off of it. So they're using plastic media blast to clean it off real quick. So, so you can use a real big screw and put it in there. See? So I thought I'd show you that. You can do it on molds and stuff like that instead of using sand. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, just like I said, you take care of your car is like taking care of your molds. If you take care of it, it'll take care of you down the road and they'll run for a long, longer period of time and give you a lot better part. Um, so please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for all the support to the channel. Till next time, peace.